my YouTube channel Nita's Global Kitchen and I am Nita. In my last video I mentioned that I filmed 4 dishes on my husband's birthday. Today I am going to share with you the second dish that is goat meat or mutton kasha. It's a very traditional Bengali recipe and it tastes amazing. If you haven't watched my previous video then please do watch it. I will link it at the end of this video. And if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, also share and comment and subscribe to my channel, it's absolutely free. Press the bell icon so that you get notification whenever I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's get started. Mutton or goat meat 500 gram, 2 big onions finely chopped, 2 green chilies slitted, 2 medium sized tomatoes finely chopped, 2 medium sized potatoes cut into big pieces cinnamon stick about 1 inch 4 cardamoms 1 bay leaf and 1 dried red chilli ginger garlic paste 2 tablespoons turmeric powder 2 teaspoons coriander powder 2 teaspoons Cumin powder 2 teaspoons, garam masala powder 1 and a half teaspoons, red chili powder 1 teaspoon. And I'm using meat masala powder 2 teaspoons. This is available in any other international supermarket. Onion paste 2 tablespoons, coriander leaves finely chopped 2 tablespoons, sugar 1 and a half teaspoon, plain Greek yogurt 2 tablespoons, mustard oil 3 tablespoons. I'm using mustard oil, you can use any other cooking oil. Salt to taste. Ghee or clarified butter, 2 teaspoons. First, I'm going to marinate the chicken. For that, I'm using 2 tablespoons of onion powder, 1 teaspoon of meat masala powder, salt, 1 teaspoon, turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon, and 2 tablespoons of plain Greek yogurt. I didn't have much time, so I marinated my chicken beforehand. You have to keep it aside for 2 to 3 hours. Now let us begin. I am going to fry the potatoes first. For that I have taken 1 tablespoon of mustard oil and I am going to fry the potatoes in medium flame until they are slightly brown. If you want to skip the potato part you can skip it but my husband loves potatoes. That's why I am using potatoes. nice so the potatoes have become slightly brown in color so I'm going to take them out in another bowl in the same pan I'm adding two tablespoons of oil and I'm going to Add all the whole masalas like bay leaf, cinnamon stick, cardamoms, dried red chilli and I am going to fry them for 20 seconds. After 20 seconds I am going to add sugar and slitted green chillies. I am going to fry them for 20 more seconds in medium flame. Sugar adds a very rich color to the dish. Now I'm adding the onions and I'm going to fry them until they are slightly brown in color. So it has become slightly brown in color. Now I'm going to add ginger garlic paste and I'm going to fry it in medium flame again until the raw smell goes away keep stirring it now I'm adding tomatoes and I'm going to fry them until they are soft and mushy Now I'm adding all spices except garam masala powder 
and I'm going to fry them in medium flame for 2 more minutes. I'm also adding 1 teaspoon of meat masala powder. Fry it really well. So after 2 minutes I'm going to add the mutton. Keep the flame in low at this point. Now I'm going to mix it really well in medium flame and I'm also adding 2 teaspoons of salt. Always add salt according to your own taste. Keep stirring it and keep it covered. Just a quick tip, if you want to cook any kind of bread meat, always cook it in medium or medium to low flame. This way, it gives a very nice color, very nice rich and darker color to the meat. And one more thing, if you want to add water, always add hot water. This way the meat will get cooked really fast and it won't become rubbery or hard. Cover and stir occasionally so that the gravy doesn't stick to the bottom and cook it in medium or medium to low flame. So I added some water because the gravy became too thick. So keep doing that for at least 90 minutes. Yes, mutton takes a lot of time to get cooked. So you have to be patient. When the mutton is half cooked, add the fried potatoes. Keep stirring it and after 90 minutes, when the mutton is completely cooked, Add garam masala powder and sprinkle some coriander leaves. Mix it really well. It is almost done. Now switch off the flame and add clarified butter. Mix it really well. Yeah, it's done. Please do try this recipe and let me know how it turns out. Thank you so much for watching.